Hello, welcome to Cornwall. My name is Andy Paramore, and today we're going to have a go at making a spoon out of a piece of hazel uh, that I've cut down from a tree in my garden. So we're just starting off with a, a piece of a branch, and hopefully uh, we'll make a spoon out of it. I've had two goes at making a spoon. Uh, the first one I thought was going okay until I got a hold of it and snapped the handle off. And the second one I made is uh, from the same tree and it's come out quite nice actually. I'm quite, quite pleased with it. But the handle is still a little bit fragile. So uh, I've been looking at, I've got a couple of books and I've been looking to improve on the design a bit also it's, it's a little bit flat so I want to put a bit of a crook in it so the first thing we're going to do is try and make what's called a billet which is just a split um, piece of wood uh, carved out with an axe and hoping I'm going to be able to you can see that is just uh, to put a crank on it like that with the axe start off and then we can draw the spoon shape onto it and refine it a bit. That's what we'll do first to try and create that. So let's have a go. As I say, it's my third attempt at a spoon, so I'm not trying to teach you how to do it, but I thought we could learn to do it kind of together. And uh, if I make any mistakes, I'll show it on the film. Uh, if it's a throwaway job, I'll get back to that stage again and um, and try and carry on from that point onwards. But we'll, uh, I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll see how it goes. Right, I'll get to it. Okay, first things first, we're going to try and split, split the log. I don't want the pith which is the, the soft bit in the center in the spoon so I'm going to come this side of that and uh, try and split the split the log down there Got a bit of a knot there. I don't know how that will affect things. We'll do the same at the other side and see what we get out of that one. Splitting very well. <laughs> you can hear, hear the wood splitting. There it goes. Right. I think we might. That one, we've got a little bit of a shape there already, so I think we might go with that for the little crank and then shape the handle around that way. So we'll give that one a go. So let's let's chop a bit of the back off. Now apparently you chop a series of chops and then shave them off.
and don't come up any higher than three quarters of the way otherwise you might chop your fingers off Buying it up and see if we can keep it fairly parallel. I'm trying to keep these fingers behind, behind the face. Seems to make sense. Do this. Right, I think that's going to be the spoon end, so let's uh, just try and get that shape down there. Okay, let's take some of that out. Okay. Let's draw a line down the center. Apparently, from the from that angle there to there, if that's an inch, that needs to be two times that measurement. So if that's an inch, that wants to be two inches. So you've got one part, another part, and then a third. And that should that's it's kind of accepted as a balanced spoon so that's the shoulder there I'll not make it too narrow just yet and then I'll probably come out somewhere like that
there we go. And I'm not trying on this very well because I think it's it's because the wood's wet. Something like something like that, I think could work. And we kind of got that shape going as well. Whoops, there you go. I don't know what's gonna happen here, it's a bit interesting. We'll see how it goes. Right, uh, I think we'll take some of the bulk of this part off. too carried away around there because I want to leave a bit of thickness which is a previous mistake I made it too thin just there so I want to keep that reasonably thick I think I might try and work on this face a little bit try and get rid of that little groove where the little branch came out redrawing that on just so I don't lose track where it is and keep it nice and straight okay I've got a different pen should be able to see this a bit clearer that's better Keep it going down.
Okay, we're starting to get there. I've got that down. I'll take this side straight down. I'm not going to cut it right back because that little flat surface there is quite handy to rest it on. Right, that, that's that mark again, that third, one third mark. That is going to be the thickest part of the bowl, so mark it there. And just to give me some idea of where we're going, I'll mark a line down the centre, just as a reference mark for any cuts that I make. So we'll start to trim a bit of the back of the bowl off. I'm not get too carried away with this because we can do this.
Well, I think that's about as much as I dare go with the axe. So the next thing we'll do is uh, take it inside and start working with the knives.